Hello, this is Paul from the support team here at Polyverse and welcome to Manipulator's video tutorial. Manipulator is an extreme voice processor designed by Infected Mushroom and Polyverse. It can pitch shift, form and shift, harmonic shift, frequency modulate, and alternate, and you can even use MIDI to play notes with your voice. Manipulator can be used as a regular insert effect if you just want to change the timbre of your voice, or as a MIDI controlled effect to be able to polyphonically control the pitch of your voice. Manipulator is designed to work best with monophonic material, which means your source audio should play only one note at a time. No chords, please. The main controls of Manipulator are made of three separate effects. The pitch is a granular pitch shifter that allows you to change the pitch independently of the formant. Changing the pitch will not change the harmonic content of your voice, only the fundamental frequency. Changing the formant value will change the timbre of your voice, but not the pitch. When the pitch is set to low, there are audible gaps between the individual grains. These gaps can be smoothed out with the smooth grains control. Please note that when smooth is on 100%, lowering by an octave will create a double cycle loop of your original audio and it'll sound as if it's playing in its original pitch, much like an oscillator sync on a synthesizer. If you don't want this to happen, shifting formants will fix this. The harmonics shifter is actually a pitch tracking frequency shifter. This allows it to become a harmonic shifter. Each step on the dial will shift the level of the harmonics from one to another. These steps are crossfades between the four stages of the harmonic shifter. When the harmonics knob is set to zero, the effect is bypassed. The harmonic shifts will happen by a set ratio, determined by the ratio knob. When the ratio is tuned to one, the overtones will shift in whole numbers. Overtone one will shift to two, two will shift to three, three to four, and so on. If the ratio is set to 0 0.5, overtone one will shift to 1.5, two to 2.5, and so on. This will give you a new timbre that's tuned in octave lower. The quarters will give you two octaves down, and any other parameter will create a strange and harmonic sound with ambiguous pitch. Tuning the ratio very low will result in a smooth phasing effect. The FM knob controls the amount of frequency modulation that's applied to the frequency shifter. The harmonics effect is extremely versatile, allowing for the creation of interesting octavers, robot-like timbres, and much, much more. The alternator is a granular contraption where grains tracking the pitch change in pitch alternatively. The first grain pitches up and the second pitches down. The amount control sets the pitch interval between the grains and the octave slows down the grains by an octave on each step of the dial. Here's an example. The smear effect is a granular effect that's applied before the rest of the chain. It samples cycles of the audio and loops it in pitch. More smear means that the space between each sample loop is wider, leaving us with less detail and a smear grand. The stereo is a simple pseudo stereo effect that will widen any stereo image while being mono compatible. The detune is an array of five very slow granular pitch shifters, changing the pitch and time of the audio to simulate a detune synthesizer or a group of voices. It's essentially a type of chorus effect. The detect control sets the pitch detection range. Low for low voices and bass instruments, mid for most voices, and high for sopraninos and violins. Remember, the plugin does not like polyphonic signals and will not track them well. However, if destroying audio is your goal, please go ahead and let Manipulator help you. The MIDI selector is only relevant when you're using the effect as a MIDI controlled effect. For this demo, I'm using Ableton Live, which means I've placed Manipulator onto my audio track and rooted MIDI into it from a separate MIDI track. To find out how to set up Manipulator to work with another audio program such as Logic or Pro Tools, please refer to the support section of our website at polyversemusic.com support. When the MIDI selector is set to off, incoming MIDI notes will not change the pitch of your voice. However, incoming MIDI will still route to the modulation section and trigger envelopes, restart the sequencer, and flow through the MIDI modulation module. On mono mode, playing MIDI notes will change the pitch of your voice, 
but will allow you to play only one voice at a time. On poly mode, you'll have up to four voices of polyphony. On gated mode, manipulator will play audio only when triggered by incoming MIDI. This mode is good for creating background vocals that need to appear only here or there while keeping the lead vocal intact. The glide control will apply a portamento type pitch glide. The amount controls the length of the glide. The MIDI only button will cause the glide to work only when a MIDI note is pressed, which is great for making subtle pitch corrections. The snap control quantizes the other controls into manageable steps. For example, the pitch informant will move by full semitones, and the harmonics control sweet spots will be easier to reach. If you want to remove this limitation and have a smoother, more detailed control, just turn the snap control off. Pressing shift while dragging will also allow for fine precision tuning. The modulation section has four slots that can load various modulators. Each modulation slot can be turned on or off to save CPU. When you load a modulator, a color-matched modulation slider will appear on the main controls. Dragging the modulation slider up will create positive modulation, while dragging it down will result in negative modulation. Notice how the modulators are divided into five dots that symbolize 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. When the snap feature is turned on, it's easy to reach those sweet spots. The Meta Knob is super useful for creating various sound morphs by giving you the ability to control several parameters at once. For example, here I'm linking the pitch informant to create a classic pitch shifter. I can now name my knob so I remember what it does. At the moment, the Meta Knob is positive, ranging from 0 to 1. It can also be negative, ranging from 0 to negative 1, or bipolar, ranging from negative 1 to positive 1. Setting the number of steps on the knob will quantize its movement. So let's say I want the knob to switch between octaves. I'll set the steps parameter to 4 and the knob to bipolar, like this. The envelope follower creates a modulation signal that follows the volume of my audio. In this case, the volume of my speech. I currently have it rooted to the pitch control. So if I speak louder, my pitch will rise. And if I speak softer, it'll be lower. The attack and release parameters control the speed of the envelope follower. The ADSR module is a classic exponential ADSR envelope, and it's triggered by MIDI notes. If you just want to trigger the envelope without imposing pitch, just put the MIDI mode on off and play a note like so. <laughs> The MIDI module provides access to MIDI parameters such as note pitch, velocity, pitch wheel, mod wheel, and aftertouch. For example, I can create a sampler-like MIDI effect where the formant follows the pitch. Note that I tune the pitch control halfway as the MIDI outputs one volt per octave and the pitch range is two octaves. That's more than what we need. When the dot is big and snap is on, this is how you'll know you're at 50%. The sequencer module serves as an LFO. You can tempo sync it, you can re-trigger it, change the rate just like any LFO, but this LFO can be drawn. Just click and drag to create a new shape. Tune the shape knob to set the way the sequencer steps are connected. Four shape modes are available. Shape 0 is smoothed. Shape 1 is linear, like a triangle. Shape 2 is stepped, like a simple step sequencer. Shape 3 is 16th drops, and shape 4 adds a curve. You can also select one of the 100 patterns we've created for you, or turn the pattern knob to the max to create a random sequence shape. To read more about the fine controls and the hidden features of the sequencer module, please refer to Manipulator's written manual available on our website. The modulation controls on the modulators themselves allow you to multiply one control by another. For example, I can use the mod wheel to control the amount of vibrato on my voice like this. Uh... Here's a quick hint for you explorers out there. Most of the modulatable controls are not limited. You can push them to the extreme using modulators. In this example, I'm using several meta knobs to pull the pitch as low as I can. <sighs> Manipulator has lots of presets that are separated into categorized banks. Additionally, you can create your own presets if you happen to make something you really like. 
Just click on the preset menu and select Save Preset. Name your preset and press Enter, and that's it! Your preset is saved. Okay, we've reached the end of our basic tutorial for Manipulator. To see more videos with tips and ideas on how to use the plugin, please visit our website at polyversemusic.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash polyverse. And if you make something cool with Manipulator or any of our other plugins, please send it our way. We'd love to hear it. We hope you have fun manipulating sound. Thanks for watching.